Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and on the topic of editing custom forms in SharePoint, today we're going to talk about editing custom forms and creating conditional formatting based on the login user's permission level. So, let's see. Ian wrote a blog about creating conditional formatting based on user permissions. And so this is what I, you know, I wrote a further blog about it and about more details on how to, to go about this. And then I'm now I'm going to go, going to actually show you how this works. So in our example, we have a task list and the goal here is so that we want only people that have approver level permission and up to be able to edit the start date when they're, when you're editing an item. I mean, not the start date, the due date. So the due date is going to be read only to everybody but people who have approval level and up. So I'm going to show you how that's accomplished. Okay, so we've, we've edited, we've created a custom form here in SharePoint Designer already, and it's called Edit Form Fancy. And I'm going to, to create this effect, I'm going to go ahead and create a new row in my table. So I'm going to insert a row in my table, and I'm going to create a read-only version of this field and an editable version of this field, and I'm going to show it to the appropriate user according to their permission. So I'm going to go over to my data source details tab and just throw that due date in there and change the formatting to be formatted as a date and time. Okay, so this is the read-only version. This is the edit version. So now here's where the trick is. We want to select this whole row of the editable version, and we want to go in and create some conditional formatting. So we want to show the content to only the people who are approvers and up. Now, how do we know who are approvers and up? Well, Ian has actually listed this out. He has listed there's a number associated with each sort of um, permission um, in SharePoint, sort of different types of permissions that you can have. The one that we're talking about in this example is the permission to approve items, and this is the number 16. So this is this, the number that we're going to need in this example. So I'm going to, going to create my conditional formatting to show this content for people that are approvers. So I'm going to look at my list of all my functions and double click if has rights, and this is where I put my number 16 and click OK. Click OK. And now I want this row above it, the read-only one, to show only for everybody else. So hide content if has rights 16. All right, save it, and let's see what that sucker looks like. Okay, I'm going to go back to my task list and just go to edit an item. And you'll see that I, as the administrator of the site, can see the editable version of the field. Now I'm going to log in as a different user. Now this user does not have approver permissions. They're only a contributor on the site, and they see only the view-only version of the field. Thank you very much.